Guys, today we're going to learn how to change a fill valve on a toilet. And we're going to get started right now. First of all, when you come in, make sure you shut the water off. The fill valve is what controls the water on the inside. Once you turn the water off, make sure that you flush it because you want to get all the water out of the tank. Make sure you cycle your fill valve because you want to make sure no more water is coming in. That's going to let you know if your angle stop really did hold. So once you get to this point, you flush it, you got the water turned off, you've got it down. At this point, you're either going to want a wet vac or you're going to want some towels or sponges to help soak all the water up out of the tank. That way, when you undo it down here, you don't get water on the floor. Now, I'm still going to recommend that you put a towel down here just to make sure that you don't damage anything. So once you've got to that point, you're going to reach down here on your flex line, or if you've got a hard copper line, you're going to undo the nut. If you've got a hard copper line, you're going to separate it from the angle stop. Even on the flex, I like to take it off the angle stop just to get it where I can set it completely out of the way. Once you get to that point, get a crescent wrench or a pair of pliers, put it on the nut, and what I tell people is hold it on top and loosen that nut. That's a little easier for me because I don't have a wall here, but literally you can get around here in the front and work on this to where you can undo this nut without any problem at all. Now this is the point where you wanna make sure you've got a towel down here or here if you still have any water in the bottom of the tank because when you go to pull this up, your rubber seal is gonna come up with it. And if there's any water in here, it's definitely gonna come out of this hole. Guys, this is a fill valve. It's very easy to change out. There's not a lot to them. Now, the thing about this one is, it's an adjustable one. So if you undo the lock right here, you can make this one as tall as you wanna make it. If I lock this down right here, as you can see, this would fit a much taller toilet and it won't go back down. So I'm gonna put it back about where it was. And you wanna make sure that this assembly is above the overflow tube. Once it's at the height that we want, we'll lock it in. You wanna make sure that the rubber gasket is put on correctly. And that's what this side turned up because it's gonna set down on the porcelain. So you put it with that side angled up, stick it down in there, and you wanna make sure that you turn this kinda of towards the front because you don't want it to interfere with the handle or with your overflow. Take your nut, put it on. I tell people get it snug, and then go about a quarter of a turn with a wrench. It won't move, you're really good there. Take your fill tube in, and then all you're gonna do is hook it back up. I also like to look at the cone washer in there and make sure that it's in good shape. If it looks like it's worn out, I'd go get a new supply line. Again, tighten it up. These, I don't like to put a wrench on, but I wanna make sure it's snug and it's not gonna leak. Make sure it's tied into your angle stop. Look inside, turn your water on, and you'll notice that when this level rises, you want it to stop about a half inch or to an inch below here. Now this one's set up a little high, so what I'm gonna do is adjust it down and lock it back in, because when it shuts off, I want it to be right about there. Guys, changing out a fill valve on a toilet is a very easy do-it-yourself project. It's something that you can do. If you've done one of these yourself, leave a comment below and let people know how easy it is. Hope you're enjoying these videos. If you hadn't done it yet, please click on the subscribe button and let us know what you think. My name's Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, The Expert Plumber.